so in this step our series of our tutorial we're going to be using upright messaging to send push notifications and upright messaging helps you communicate with your users through push notifications email and also sms text messages so you can see in here that there are three types of messages you can send with upright messaging it being push notifications email and also sms text messages so in this tutorial we focus on how we can send a push notification so it's push notification you can send schedule and manage push notification in your app using upright messaging and the very first step in here is to add a provider and push notifications might be sent through a third party providers like the apple push notification service and also the firebase cloud messaging and remember the push notification apis for apple and android devices can only be accessed through these services so i'll go with firebase cloud messaging in here so Firebase Cloud Messaging lets you send push notifications to your iOS, Android and web apps through upright messaging. And before you can deliver messages, we must first of all connect to a messaging provider. And that's the very first thing to do in here. So in your upright console, click on the messaging tab. And at the top section here, you can see the providers. You click on that, choose the push notification and create a new provider. Give the name of the provider and choose Firebase Cloud Messaging or SCM as a provider in here. So in here we need to set up a credential below to enable fcm for sending notification right so we can get this um json file in our firebase console so let's proceed to do that and upload it over here so in your firebase console you create a new project and you give the project a name so i'm going to name this project as upright messaging you can go with any name so i'll name it as upright messaging then i'll click on continue over here so I'll disable the analytics in here and create a project. There you go. So once we have our project created, you can see our dashboard. So the next thing to do is head over to the project settings over here and verify if our cloud messaging is enabled. And you can see it's enabled already. So under the service account, we need to create or generate a new private key over here so i'll generate a key so this key come in a json format as you can see over here so in your upright console you choose a file and that file is going to be the newly created json format and you open that file then you can proceed to create the provider in here there you go so we have successfully created our provider in here so let's verify so under the messaging providers you can see the newly created provider that's the fcm over here let's proceed so over here the next step is to configure the app which we've already done that by enabling the fcm and also generating a new private key so we've done that and the third step is to configure the app and in configuring the app you can go with android with fcm and also ios with fcm so ios with fcm need to be enrolled in the apple developer accounts and with Android with FCM is free. You can start with free trial. And that's it. So configuring the app is basically adding iOS and Android to your um, Firebase projects, which we can use Flutterfire to achieve that. So let's move ahead and do that. So in my Flutter project, I'll bring in my terminal over here and run the command Flutterfire configure, right? So make sure you have Flutterfire installed. And this will fetch the available firebase projects and i'll choose in the upright messaging in here so the platform is going to be android and ios and i'll proceed from here and this will add the necessary files and dependencies right there you go we have our ios and android added to firebase projects and so you can set up your flutter fireweights by searching flutter fire on google and choose the first link so with the documentation you need to add the firebase core and also use that pub global activate flutter fire cli to activate the flutter fire cli then you can run the flutter fire configure command so let's proceed to add a firebase core to get rid of the errors and
the command is flutterpub add firebase underscore call so we need to add firebase call to the project there you go you can see the error is fixed so over here let's um initialize our firebase up so let's make the main function and it's synchronous and below over here we can await and initialize our firebase up so it's going to be firebase dot initialize so let's import our firebase call firebase dot initialize up and we need to pass in the options in here which is going to be the default firebase options dot current platform so default firebase options dot current platform there we go so we have that and also let's verify from here if we have our app being added to the project we just created so in here i will just refresh the console there you go you can see two apps are being added that's the android and also the ios version in here we are true let's proceed we've done configuring the app by adding the necessary files the next thing is to test the provider right so let's hit on send push notification and we've added a provider by choosing the fcm the next step is to add a target and before sending your first push notification your application must register itself for push notification then provide the device token to the upright so i'll go with fcm for android in here and before you can send push notification with fcm make sure you will allow the steps to add the firebase to your android project we've already done that and after adding firebase to your android project in our case it's a flutter project we initialize our firebase in our main activity we've done that we've initialized our firebase in our main app so the example here is written in costlane so i'll try my best to bring that to the flutter right so we need to use the firebase messaging to get the token in here and over here we check upright push target associated with account typically you need to create a push target when the user logs in right so when we check for the functionality where we are logging in then we can create a push target right and passing in the token so let's try and do something like that so within our flutter project in here i'll pop up the terminal and install um the firebase messaging right so the command is flutter pop add firebase messaging so this package will help us get the fcm token of that particular device and we've already initialized our app so let's try and get the fcm token and pass it down right so we've done that over here we've initialized our firebase and where we are logging in let's try and get the fcm token so below over here i'll create a variable of fcm token then we can await firebase messaging dot instance dot get token and for this we get the token in here so once we have access to the token we can create a push target per the doc documentation and that's going to be widget dot account dot create push target so in here taking the target id and the identifier so the target id over here so creating a push target we are going to uniquely create the target id so with the identifier is going to be the fcm token right so we need to pass in the fcm token as the identifier and with the target id to we can uniquely create a new one once we create the push target for the first time and the last option is the provider id right which is optional we can just pass in the provider id in here so we can pass in the provider id we can have access to the provider id on the console so in our console over here you can get access to this provider id and i'll place that in the app configuration and i'll be adding one more that's going to be the provider id and in here i need to replace the um provider id to be app config dot provider id 
so that's how you can access the provider id in here yeah i think that's it we get a token and try and create a push target where we pass in the target id and the identifier which is the fcm token then we need to pass in the provider id as well so we are expecting to be having a new so when i check this user and not the targets we only have one target that's the um email right so once we decide to log in we are going to have additional targets and the type is going to be a push one right so let me first of all delete this user yeah so in here i've run the app and let's try and register a new user so the status of the user is not logged in so i'll try and register a new user with email password and a name and the email is going to be called with aquagmail.com and in here i'll pass in a password and also provide a name so i click on register and when you register a user by creating a new user we also proceed to log in the user where we can create a push target over here so you can see we are logged in as dakwa and let's verify from here we can see our newly created user so when we check the targets of this user you can see a new target is added as the fcm provider in here and that will allow us to send a push notification so we can check the messaging tabs and before we do that i will creating a new file over here and name this file as the notification service where we have our notification functionality so in here i wouldn't be going through this i will link the github repo in the description right so this notification service use firebase messaging and local notification in initializing the not notification service so i'll link the github repo in the description so we initialize our notification service and within a mean of that file we can also initialize our notification service in here as well so it's going to be notification service dot initialize notifications right so we are saving that changes and you can see the initialized notification is found within this notification class where we try with our firebase messaging on background we handle the background messaging and also make use of our local notifications so make sure you have that installed as well where you configure the android and the ios so it's pretty much the basic settings in the notification so once we have that initialized we can go ahead and try and send our first notification so i will try and delete this user so let me delete this user and start everything so let's create a new user right so i'm going to go with the same email which is called gmail.com i'll pass in my password over here then finally i'll pass in my name and register this user so this will proceed and log the user in as well as you can see logged in as that one so once the user is logged in we also create a push target for that user so you can see the push target is being created over here so you can go to the messaging session and create a new message where we select a push notification so in here we need to give the message title and also the actual message as well so the actual message goes here you can also add a media as well so in here we select a target you can select a piece or target so i'll go in target in here and select this user and add that so you can schedule notification as well on also send instant notification so you can see in here i've sent a notification there we go you can see notification title and also the message in there so that's basically it let's try one more with the example right so let's create a new message so let's push notification pass in a title and also pass in a message in here So once we have that, we can click on the next button and select a target where we can see our user and add that. Then we can send an instant notification in here and voila, we can see a notification. Yeah, and that's basically it. See you in our next tutorial. Until then, stay tuned.